Welcome back to Renegade Reviews. Renegade here, and today we're going to be looking at Captain America, the first Avenger comic series, Heroic Age, Captain America. So as most of you know, this is Bucky Cap uh, in the Heroic Age, Captain America. I, I kind of like that title for him. That's a nice way of denoting who we got here. You know, the new Captain America on the Avengers. For those of you who don't know that little bit of the story, you can go ahead and pause. Alright, but, uh, you know, it, it looks like a, it's a good title for him. I do like it. Uh, getting right into the figure, guys. We already got a Bucky Cap with the Gigantic Battles uh, giant Scroll Giant Man. But, whereas this one uh, uses a mold at, that is at least partially the daredevil mold and he stands quite a bit short and that kind of thing uh... this figure he's also a bit short but he's got more of a bulk to him that i feel fits bucky uh... he's also got some nice weapons um, this gun they're both this kind of crappy looking gray which is unfortunate focus Right, so it's tough, but they are nice. Uh, I do like this gun. It's kind of a thicker, bigger gun than we usually see, which I enjoy. And then we've got the knife, but a uh, nice knife, black handle on it. So, uh, yeah, very cool. But uh, both accessories fit well in his hands, and uh, they look nice enough. The other accessory is his shield, which this is almost as useless as some of those Iron Man energy projections. You know, it comes in like that, you hit the button, out fly the blades. Uh, not really necessary. But I do kind of like the mechanism back here for using it, you know, where we can put it there or flip it in and have it on his back. The only thing I don't like about it is the way that it puts a hole in their back in the middle of the star. That kind of ruins the effect for me. So I'd rather see the straps like in the Marvel Universe shields. Uh, to me, this is a better all-around shield because it's more realistic. This won't be used by me for displays or anything. I'll just be uh, lending this Bucky Cap one of these shields when I need him to have it and uh, regretting the fact that he has a hole in his back. But all around, very nice figure, nice paint, uh, very good likeness to Bucky Cap. Just a nice figure, guys. It moves well. Um, like I said, he is a bit short. I'll show you him in comparison to Ultimate Cap, although here he doesn't look too bad again. So, you know, not awful, but I, I like the way he, he just seems to be a bulkier figure than, like, this one. Um, not a huge fan of the way they did the star on here, kind of like I'm not a huge fan of the way they did it on Winter Soldier. But all around, guys, he's a very nice figure. He looks great. The paint on his uh, red, whites, and blues are just excellently done. And, uh, yeah, I enjoy this, this heroic age Captain America, or this Bucky Cap. I think it is, uh, probably a little bit better of a figure than... You got with the gigantic battles pack, and beyond that, it is uh, it's easier to obtain anyway. But yeah, this is a very nice Captain America figure. If you need a Bucky cap, I recommend going and getting him. Uh, you'll need a different shield for him probably, but good Bucky cap. So that is heroic Quick tack on guys just wanted to talk a little bit about this belt it is attached in the back here it doesn't come around all the way to the front which is you know kind of looks weird that it just ends but uh it also moves here you know if you need to get his arm down there for whatever reason i don't know why you'd want the belt to look back like that but you could do it so wanted to talk about the belt a bit no silver buttons on it or anything but it works good for holding the weapons and everything and uh contributes to making Bucky a nice figure. So, thanks for watching, guys. Renegade, signing off.